Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. You need to stop ending fights so quick so I can actually see it. <laughs> Again, missed Hamza's fight I was interviewing. Um, second round stoppage I hear, how did yeah, it go? Yeah, yeah, no, it went well. Good little uh, control performance. Well, I thought I was going to uh, finish him with, I did. And yeah, got the win. Mm. Uh, was it a body shot? Yeah, left it to the body. I knew that already. Yeah, it was a long one. <laughs> it's your trademark. Yeah, that's it. Is that something you work on? Yeah, no, it is. For this fight, it was. I found out quite early what I had. So they was in the gym just perfecting that shot. And yeah, he got mm -hmm. it off and that's it. Has that opponent been stopped much before? He got stopped by Zach Chelly in his last fight. But yeah, who don't get stopped by Zach Chelly, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Who have you been sparring to lead up to this? Uh, to be fair, I've been sparring at a uh, chain of Terry and Addy now down at Ilford at Fort Galaxy. Mm -hmm. So we get good lo uh, like local sparring as well. We get up and coming fighters such as like same level as me, do you know what I mean? But yeah, getting, getting all that sparring in and it's good man, I'm enjoying it. I was going to come on to the training situation, obviously there's been a change. Yeah. How's that all been? No, it's been good touch wood man, it's worked out very well. And yeah, it's local to home as well, which makes it that bit sweeter mm -hmm. later, later mornings, do you know what I mean? But yeah. It always seems like a, a similar post fight interview. Mm -hmm. uh, a body shot stoppage around this year, so keep it going, really. Yeah, that's it, man. Just like, like thank all my sponsors, Westfield Estates, Hexagon, Saba, El Safa, and all of them, man, for, every, for everything they've done. Uh, A1 Body Work as well, for everything done. Without them, it wouldn't be possible to be living like the dream, to be, being able to box full time at, at such a young age, you know what I mean? Mm. Now, I don't know what time BT went live. Was that shown? No, no, that wasn't shown. That this went was shown. before because you got all the up and coming, like the, the top level fighters. Mm -hmm. I'm still bottom, to that kind of like middle bottom tier kind of thing. But yeah, it was a good man to get on early for once. Like my few outings being quite late, really. Mm. But yeah, man, it was good. But obviously, soon you'll want to be hitting them TV slots on yeah. BT. Uh, the, my last three fights were uh, TV they slots. They were, yeah. They were, but obviously, like I just said about this show. Mm. Are we thinking 2020 realistically for when you push titles, Southern Area, English, etc.? Yeah, hopefully, man. That's, that's, that's what we're aiming for, to stay undefeated to, uh, for this year. And then early next year, start pushing on to some titles, man. Is it a situation where you want to go through that route, the Southern Area, English, British, or would, you know, if a world sort of international title pops up next year, you'd go for that straight away? To be fair, I ain't one to pick and choose. Whatever comes my way, I'll just deal with it. Simple as, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, whatever comes my way, I'll deal with it. Whether it's Southern Area, whether it's that, something different, we'll just. Grab it both hands and deal with it, man. You don't have a preference? No, not at all, man. As long as, as, long as I'm in a world title one day and we're calling like pound for pound, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a small bite of That's pound it. for pound. <laughs> all right, Hamza Shiraz, thank you very much for your reaction and uh, we'll catch up soon. Cheers, thank you very much, Umar.